All right. Right now, I'm just going to demonstrate um, how we interact with a 3D object in Maya. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go create polygon primitive, and we'll create a plane, which is just like a flat. It's just like a flat piece of board. Um, ten subdivisions along the width, ten subdivisions along the height. It's going to have ten divisions all the way across it. You'll see it when we create it. So there it is. And it has 10 down, 10 this way. We want to scale this up so we can work with it a little. Move it up, scale it up. Oh, there it is. All right, and this works the same way for, um, I'll create another one too. I'll create a polygon primitive um, sphere. And we'll pull that up above the plane and just put it aside there. Now when we have a 3D object like a plane, a cube, or a sphere here, We've talked about how we can, how I've demonstrated in other videos how we can move things around and move the camera around. Now when we actually want to start changing the way that this object looks, you know, it's flat right now. But say I wanted to raise something up, like the polygon out object has uh, three kind of major ways to interact with it. Okay, all these green lines right here are edges. And you can hold down shift and select multiple edges all over. They're the edges of the polygons. So you want to know how I brought that menu up, I just hold down right mouse button, hold it down. I have edge, object, which is going to take it back to the object mode. I went into edge mode so that they turn blue and I can select the edges. And there's vertex. These are vertice vertices. Over here, this vertex. Go into that vertex mode, and you start seeing these little. They're probably hard to pick up on here, but they're purple little dots at every junction. There's one right there. They turn yellow when you select them. Same. And again, you can shift select those or drag select however many you want. Um, they're vertices. There they are. And then you can hold down the right mouse button again and go to face. And these are the actual, this is the actual polygons themselves with four sides and each one has four vertices. And you can shift select these or drag marquee select them. And you're wondering now like what am I going to do with these edges and these vertices and the faces. Well this is how we're going to change the geometry. We have just a flat plane right here. If I want to start making like a mountain or something in the middle, I would right click on it. Go to face, select this face, and then I would go to the move tool or rotate tool or scale tool that we talked about earlier. We want to use the move tool. And I could just pull it up. Now you see I have this it's no longer flat. I have a little bit of a a hump or a mountain in the middle there. And I'll select that face again. I can pull it down. We can indent, make a hole. Even cooler thing um, with something like faces is you can select a face. Come on. And delete it. And that's how you make holes in things. Okay? So that's. And I can grab any face. I can grab this one move it up, pull it over, even higher. I can rotate it. See, it's just like moving around a square piece of wood or piece of paper. Um, also now, if we want to go to the edges, you can see how edges work. I can grab an edge, or shift select a couple, and I can pull those up too. Nice, huh? Now if I grab, let's go to edge mode, I grab a couple, I don't know what the heck it's doing, and just pull it up, we can do the same things with the edges, rotate them, okay, and then 
last but not least, we can do the same thing with the vertices. I go to vertex and just select one. Come on. And pull it up. And you got another like pyramid. And I can also select multiple vertices and pull them up. See, I left one down in there. I can pull him up too. There we go. And that's how objects are pretty much manipulated. I can do the same thing with the sphere. I can grab like verts on it and pull them out all over the place. I can grab faces and do the same thing. Kind of an ugly looking mess there. But anyway, it lets you know, it lets you see how it's done. Grabbing faces and tweaking and pulling and rotating. That's how that's done. You have your face right there. You have your edge. And you have your vertices or vertex, it says right there.